Lizanne from Mother Rucker here. Today I'm going to show you how to use an Ergo Baby Aura stretchy wrap to carry twins. First things first, untuck your stretchy out from the pocket and find your middle marker. It will be somewhere near the middle of your wrap. There's mine. There it is. You're going to put that over your chest in the middle and use your chin to pin it in place. You're going to take one side round behind your back up over your shoulder, make sure you're not twisted. If you lead with the top hem, you'll find it won't twist. So you bring it round up and over your back like so, gather up your verticals and then tuck them straight through that horizontal panel on the front. You're then gonna cross those over, once you've sorted your hair out, take them behind your back, cross them over again and bring them back in front. It's really important to make sure that your tails are never longer than your knees, otherwise that's a trip hazard when you're going up and down stairs. I'm putting that a bit lower so that I can ensure I have enough room for my twins. So you need to make sure you pull all the slack out from your wrap. I'm giving it a really good stretch here and you can see all of that fabric that was hidden in my sling, which we don't want, okay? So you need to pull the diagonals on the side to get rid of all that excess slack. Okay, feed that slack round to your knot and retie it onto your torso. If you've had a C-section, please don't tie it anywhere near your scar. There we go. Now we're ready for our babies. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put my baby on my left-hand side first. I'm gonna move this fabric to the outside of my shoulder so I've got a nice clear space to work with. My baby comes up onto my shoulder. I'm coming underneath that side. And I'm going to grab one foot and I'm going to pop that into the knee, sliding baby across. And I spread my fabric as I slide them across all the way to the other knee. That leg's fallen out. It tends to happen with dolls, not so much with real babies. I'm checking that arm is up and I'm tucking the head in and I'm checking that that arm is up as well. Final check of my baby's position to make sure that we're fully supported knee to knee and that the spine is nice and curved with the bum nice and low. I'm tucking the head in, making sure that baby has both hands up near their face. I'm now using my forearm to hold that baby in place so that now I have both hands free to get my other baby and I'm clearing a space on my chest to put that baby. So I'm picking up that child onto that shoulder and I'm going to come underneath from the outside, catch one foot and bring that into baby's knee, bringing the arm up to help them balance and then spreading the fabric over the head and the back to the other knee before rolling baby down so they can get nice and comfy and level with their sibling. Again, really make sure that you pull your fabric wide so it's knee to knee make sure that both arms are up either side of baby's head and that the head is covered for now. We can clear it later, but for now, until they're safe, you need to do make sure the head is covered. Lovely. Once they're there, you're then going to use one hand to hold both of them in place as you use the other hand to grab your original horizontal layer with the middle marker on and you come over each leg. So there's one leg, it's important you do this as a rope as well. Second leg, third leg, and there's the fourth. Leave the bulk of the fabric under the bums and then you're just gonna pull that top hem all the way up over their backs to their necks to hold them in place. Keep them nice and safe and snug. Double check any knees that may have slipped out. They should be okay. Real babies tend not to do that, whereas my dolls tend to. You can spread the shoulders for extra comfort. Similarly, if your babies don't want their heads covered, you can do shoulder flips as well. There's my middle marker. Thanks for watching. Bye.